Chess Friends, in Cinquefield Cup Chess Tournament 4th of September 2022, Hans defeated Magnus Carlsen. And the next day Magnus withdrew from Cinquefield Cup. I analysis that game where I told Magnus played very badly against Hans, but more importantly, Hans played like a top engine, but he couldn't explain the moves after the game. After few days security was increased at the Cinquefield room, after which the Hans could not play properly, he lose dumb games very badly. But there is no strong evidence to prove that Hans is a cheater. Because no artificial chip or mobile phone was found from him. Some people can cheat wearing sunglasses, which means artificially putting a computer in front of the sunglasses, now he can see the best chess moves from there. But he don't use any sunglass. Some grow hair on their heads and put radio chips in them so that someone else will say the best move from outside and they will copy it. But in Synquifield room there is a radio detected machine, it means if you use internet or send a message to somebody it can detect IP address and, and through the I. P, address, it will be understood that what you are doing on the internet or what message app you use to send message somebody. But nothing like that was caught there. But Magnus Carlsen, is a Stockfish subscriber. You can see here, he recently subscribed my channel. He set his trap, in the weekend he played some games with Hans Niemann in the beach. In the beach games, Magnus defeated Hans every games very badly. It means Hans is a weak player against Carlsen, then why he played like a top engine. Magnus and I watched his recent games where he played very well. But in the beach games he lose every games against Magnus. I will show you the Frist beach game after talking about this. In 19th of September, 9 days ago. Magnus resigned after playing one move against Hans Niemann. He disrespect Hans. Because if you love chess, you will love someone who plays chess well, and you will hate someone who cheats at chess. That's what Magnus did in the Generation Cup. That's why he didn't play with Hans. Magnus thinks Hans has been cheating in his recent games as well. I think so too. Last day he tweeted about that. Dear Chess World, at the 2022 Synquifield Cup, I made the unprecedented professional decision to withdraw from the tournament after my round 3 game against Hans Niemann. A week later during the Champions Chess Tour, I resign against Hans Niemann after playing only one move. I know that my actions have frustrated many in the chess community. I'm frustrated. I want to play chess. I want to continue to play chess at the highest level in the best events. I believe that cheating in chess is a big deal, and an existential threat to the game. I also believe that chess organizers and all those who care about the sanctity of the game we love should seriously consider increasing security measures and methods of cheat detection for over-the-board chess. When Neiman was invited last minute to the 2022 Synquifield Cup, I strongly considered withdrawing prior to the event. I ultimately chose to play. I believe that Neiman has cheated more and more recently than he has publicly admitted. His over-the-board progress has been unusual, and throughout our game in the Synquifield Cup I had the impression that he wasn't tense or even fully concentrating on the game in critical positions, while outplaying me as black in a way I think only a handful of players can do. This game contributed to changing my perspective. We must do something about cheating, and for my part going forward, I don't want to play against people that have cheated repeatedly in the past because I don't know what they are capable of doing in the future. There is more that I would like to say. Unfortunately, at this time I am limited in what I can say without explicit permission from Neiman to speak openly. So far I have only been able to speak with my actions, and those actions have stated clearly that I am not willing to play chess with Neiman. I hope that the truth on this matter comes out, whatever it may be. Sincerely, Magnus Carlsen, world chess champion. And Hans has imposed on it that he did cheat in the past. And now he says he doesn't cheat anymore. Anyway chess friends, I made my point, I really don't know if he is a cheater or not. Comment me what do you think about it. 
and I have a request for you, please don't jump in the fire, don't make yourself angry at this time that Neiman is a cheater. All will become clear with time. Take it like chess game, enjoy the show. Like your queen is pinned to the king by a bishop. You can block it or king can move away, you can push your pawn. All the pieces over the board. Just enjoy the game, no need to worry too much. Carlson send me this beach game. Let's go, Hans play d4. d5? Knight c3. Magnus played knight c6, I don't recommend you knight c6. You can play knight f6, e6. Or c6. Anyway, Magnus played knight c6. Bishop f4. Here comes e5. Tarping move, Hans played d takes e5, but best moves bishop takes pawn, knight takes e5. d takes e5. d4. Best move is knight b1. If you play knight to e4. Then queen d5. Targeting the knight and pawn. If knight runs away. Then bishop b4 check will destroy you. c3. d takes c3. b takes c3. Bishop takes c3 check. Queen d2. Queen takes d2 will be mate. Back to the position. Hans played d takes e5 which is inaccuracy move. g5. Hans played bishop g5. Best move was bishop d2. d4. Knight e4. Anyway, Magnus played d4. Knight e4 but best move was knight to b1. h4. h5. Bishop f5. Hans played knight takes g5, blunder. Here comes bishop b4 check. c3. d takes c3. And Hans resigned here. Because it's minus 10 advantages for black. If you play queen takes queen. Then rook takes d8. Rook d1. c2 check. Rook d2. c1 mate. Black is threatening the pawn with a check which is a mate actually, rook is covering the d-file. Back to the position, if you try to play any other possible moves. For example, a3. c takes b2. a takes b4. Threatening knight takes b4. If you try to protect your rook. Rook a4. Then knight c2 check. White will lose his queen, and the game. And you can also play simply queen takes queen. Rook takes d1. Rook d8. And you can't stop, promotion. In this way Carlson defeated Hans to confirm that he is a weak player. Back to the position, best move was knight d2, but it doesn't work actually. g4. e4. D takes e3. F takes e3. Now queen d5. Your king is very weak. Black have advantages in space. White pieces are very passive. Your further move plan is to active your pieces. Castle. Using open file and targeting the pawn. If queen exchange happen, then knight takes queen. White will lose his pawn and the e3 pawn. Hans played like a 2000 rated player, lots of inaccuracy and mistake. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, bye bye. Take care.